So I just wanted to give you guys a little view of the bike right here. Got my wife modeling it for us. So my bike's very dirty. I definitely need to clean it. I had my uh, airbox actually fell off when I was riding down to uh, St. Augustine going like 60. It kind of scared me, but worked out. And this is the sissy bar I added on it. Uh, these are the grips and the drag bars I added on it. I flipped the mirrors and that's all I did to it. So, enjoy the video guys. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, I appreciate y'all checking it out. So I wanted to give a review of the Harley Iron 883 today. Um, I have my wife on the back of the bike um, and we're going to do a little bit of highway riding and a little bit of just around town so I can give you guys my opinion on the bike. So I've had the bike for about four months now. I bought it used. Uh, it's got 7,385 miles on it and I put a little over 1,600 miles on it since I've had it. So. I've had a little bit of time on the bike to give an honest review. The Harley Sportster in general is probably the most controversial bike there is. And that's because, in my opinion at least, so I grew up around Harleys. My grandma and my grandfather, they both ride. and. They always, I was always taught that the Sportster is a girl's bike, right? I mean, that's just how it was. That is the old school way of thinking. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not true, right? Anyway, we'll get back to that. So, I wanted to start off with why I bought the bike. I bought the bike because, first of all, the looks. I love the way it looks, the black murdered out look. Um, I'm not a big fan of spoked wheels. So um, I like that this one doesn't have the spoked wheels compared to the um, the Nightster. I actually had a Nightster for a couple months, the 1200, I forget what year it was. And I liked that bike a lot as well, but there's just something about the look of the Iron 883 that I love. And I've kept this bike longer than I thought I was going to. To be honest, I got a really good deal on this bike. Um, I considered just flipping it but after riding it a couple times, I, I couldn't get rid of it. So I'll tell you guys what I did to the bike since I've got it. There's really not that much done to it. It has some Screaming Eagle slip-on exhaust. Um, I didn't put that on there. I bought the bike with it. They definitely don't sound as good as the Vance and Hines, but the performance is really good. I don't get any, any weird uh, backfiring or, I don't know, the bike runs really well. I also put these drag bars on and I put these grips on and I put a sissy bar on the back so that my wife could ride. Uh, the guy who I bought it from had already put the rear passenger foot pegs on it so all I needed was the sissy bar and the little, uh, the little pad. That's what's great about riding motorcycles, you just get like lost. Like you don't, you know, you're like, if you, you stop thinking about other things and you're just like chilling. Or at least if you yeah so getting back to the looks of the bike I can't tell you how many people in the short time that I've owned this bike have came up and stared at the bike asked me questions about it I mean I've been riding with some other people that have in my opinion way cooler Harleys big road kings and stuff like that which I'm a fan of but um everybody always wants to know about this bike and I can't say that I blame them. So obviously the main reason I love this bike is because of the looks. Um, another reason I love this bike is because it's the perfect entry level bike for somebody around my age who's not, com not completely fresh out of college, but you know, a couple years out of college and I wanted to buy a bike that wasn't gonna break the bank. And this is the perfect bike for that. Um, I guess I'll tell you guys how much I paid for the bike. I got a really good deal on it. It's a uh, 2011 
I picked it up with, like I said, I think under 6,000 miles. And I paid $3,800 for this bike. And I have had absolutely no issues with it at all. Um, I know a lot of people say that the, the, the Harleys, especially the Harley Sportsters, are known to leak. Like I said, this is my second Sportster, and I've had no issues with leaking. Um, one of my other buddies that I ride with, he has an older 883 as well. It's not the iron, but the uh, he's got the 03 Anniversary Edition, and he's had no issues with uh, leaking either. Another thing that a lot of people complain about on the Sportsters is finding neutral, and I don't know if you can see that signal there, but I have had absolutely no issues finding neutral on this bike. I don't know if it was just this year or what, but it goes into neutral pretty much perfect every single time. A lot easier than my dirt bike, that's for sure. So we're about to get up here on the highway so you guys can see. Like I said, I have my wife on the back of the bike so you can see how the bike still handles fine with two of us, you know, going over 70 miles per hour, no problem at all on pretty much a stock bike. So we're getting on the, I guess, kind of highway right here, at least highway speeds. Not sure how the audio is going to sound, but... Everybody's coming home from work, so can't really open it up as much as I wanted to. But as you can see, we're cruising 65, no problem at all. Is there a lot of wind in your face? Yeah. Well, you know, you're going to get that with any bike that doesn't have a fairing or a windshield on it. That's just, that's what comes with riding motorcycles. I actually enjoy it. at 80 no problem at all still got plenty more we don't have many uh many windy roads here near where i live so this little ramp right here is pretty fun but there's always traffic at the end of it so it's a little sketchy I guess while we're on that we might as well talk about the handling of the bike in my opinion the bike handles well does it handle great no um, I also could probably use some new tires I think that would help but the bike yeah I mean it's it handles decent around town and everything like that everything's stock I ride a lot of two up on it and it handles it good you know not great but good uh, speed wise would I like more speed? Sure. Do I need more speed? No. And the reason I say that is because most of the time when I'm on this bike, the fastest I'm gonna go is like 50, 55 miles per hour. And I mean, cruising at 100 miles per hour is not, not fun. I mean, what's fun is accelerating, right? And if it can't accelerate like my 1200 or like an R6 or an R1 or anything like that. But it would still be very easy to get a ticket on this bike. I mean, second gear, you can hit 45 miles per hour, second, third gear, you know. And I don't know, for me, I like clicking through the gears. So I enjoy that the bike's not as fast because if, if I could just hold it in first gear, you know, to accelerate up to 45 miles per hour, yeah, it's, it's fun and all, but I, I don't know, I like clicking through the gears. I guess I, I like that old saying, I'd rather ride a slow bike fast than a fast bike slow. So I want to try to give you guys some reasons why I don't like the bike here, uh, now that I put a good 1,600 miles on it. To be honest with you, it's kind of hard to think of things that I don't like about the bike. 
um, it's, you know, going into it, I knew what I was getting. Of course, I could say, oh, it's it's small and it's slow and it doesn't, you know, it's not the most comfortable to up riding. Even though my wife says that she's perfectly comfortable back there, she's never complained about it. Granted, the longest ride we've ever gone on is, you know, a little over an hour there and then a little over an hour back. But, you know, that's, that's why I bought the bike. That, that's all I planned on doing. Um, I could see how a lot of people that buy this bike that think that they're going to ride with a bunch of bigger bikes and go on these long trips get uh, can get disappointed about it. But for me, it's exactly what I expected it to be. Like I said, I guess it could handle better. I don't... I, this is another thing that I just need to get used to is uh, the, the lean angle on it. It's not very good. Like it's really easy to scrape the pegs on it. And I guess I'm still trying to get comfortable with that. Like coming off riding on the dirt, on my dirt bike, which obviously has like, what, a foot of travel pretty much. Um, this is just, you gotta get used to it. So I'm gonna wrap the video up here, guys. All in all, if you're thinking about getting the Iron 883, I think you should definitely get it. I love this bike. Like I said, I didn't even plan on keeping it. And I honestly don't, I, I couldn't imagine selling this bike at this point. I've, I've just completely fallen in love with it. So in my opinion, should you get it? Yes. In my opinion, are there better bikes out there? Of course, but for the price and if you want to be on a Harley and you want something that is reliable, won't break the bank and it's still really fun and looks awesome look no further this is your bike all right y'all appreciate it i'll see y'all next time